What's up everybody, Kevin Bowen back. First day of Colts camp in full pads here on Monday, August 17th. A couple takeaways from that. T.Y. Hilton, Phillip Rivers right away on the same page. I'd say of the first four, I think, passes from Rivers, three of them in Hilton's direction. He had the patented toe tap near the sideline. I thought Frank Reich made a really good point after practice. You know, T.Y. Hilton might not be the ideal body type or a similar body type to what Rivers has worked with mostly in the past, but they're two veterans, extremely high football IQ. They understand timing. They understand spacing. Um, and for a guy like Hilton, who's been a little banged up here in the past couple weeks, he looked very healthy to me today. The other wideout that caught my eye is Paris Campbell. We haven't seen him you know, fully healthy in many NFL practices. He in injured that hamstring early in camp last year and missed a huge chunk of August. And today was a reminder of his ability to create separation in kind of the short areas of the field. And I think with the timing and quicker rhythm that Rivers brings to this offense, if you can get Campbell the ball in stride, um, that's obviously going to be huge for him to use that 4-3-40 speed. Lastly, a couple injury notes. Kenny Moore left with a strained groin. Braden Smith sat out with a foot injury. And Justin Houston out with a neck injury. Um, doesn't sound like too serious for Houston or Smith. For Houston, it allowed some of the other defensive ends, uh, younger guys, to get into the mix a little bit. al Qadim Muhammad, Ben Banigou, Taekwon Lewis, um, Danico Autry played outside a little bit as well. And then for Braden Smith, it was LaRaven Clark in the lineup, who um, just a massive year for him because that insurance policy as the third tackle is vitally important. So the Colts will be in full pads again Tuesday and Wednesday before an off day on Thursday, 10 75 1075 thefan.com is all your Colts content from camp Kevin Bowen signing off see you